Ah, Splatoon for Wii U. We've come a long way since then. I remember seeing the trailer for this game in the 5th grade, and that was the first time I really got hyped for a video game release. I saved my money, walked into GameStop, and came out with a copy of the fun colored paint game. Splatoon was the first ever game I streamed on my channel, back when I didn't have a capture card and I livestreamed with my phone. I was a small YouTube channel with less than 100 subscribers, and really those Splatoon livestreams were how I built my community of friends and fans, and to this day I love the audience that attend my livestreams. You can imagine the excitement I had when the Nintendo Switch released and they announced a Splatoon 2 was in the works. Since the second game came out, I haven't played the original. I opened the game one time to get b-roll for a video I was making back in 2017, when I still edited with the built-in YouTube editor and used the horrible Fortnite-esque intros. Today I played Splatoon for Wii U for the first time in 3 years, and it got me thinking, what if Nintendo made a remaster of the game? Nintendo ported their main titles for the Wii U such as Mario Kart, Super Mario Bros, Hyrule Warriors, Donkey Kong, and Pokémon Tournament, so why wasn't Splatoon among these ported games? While the game would definitely get a boost from the Nintendo Switch's hardware that was leagues better than the Wii U, there would be way too many elements they needed to change to port it over to the Switch because Splatoon was made to be played with a second screen. By the time everything is changed so the game is catered to the Nintendo Switch, you've already made a new experience, so why not just update everything with a second game that can build and improve on the success of the original? Of course, while I didn't see it before, the original Splatoon game was broken in a lot of ways. While the single player was fun, it was too short to really add the feel of another game mode because the game's main focus was its multiplayer. And don't even get me started on the weapons and gear. While some things were a little too nerfed in Splatoon 2, such as ink resistance and stealth jump, the second game fixed a lot of the balancing issues that the first game suffered with. For example, the special weapons. The Kraken and Bubbler literally gave you immunity to taking any damage and the only way to die is to fall off the map. Not to mention, you can share the bubbler with your teammates when you come into contact with them. The Killer Will, Ink Strike, and Ink Zooka are all one-hit kills with insane coverage of area and have very little warm-up time to use. And finally, the most broken part of Splatoon, Damage Up. Damage Up increased all damage given out by the player by up to 30%, which includes your main weapon, sub-weapon, and special weapon. Once people realized how overpowered stacking damage up on all your clothes was, the game pretty much broke. You no longer had to charge snipers the whole way to spot an enemy, not to mention you could tap shot opponents with two hits, which not only made the E-Leader the best sniper in the game with extreme ranges, but also a formidable close-up weapon. So everyone made the switch to using charged weapons. Chargers weren't the only weapon to get a huge advantage with damage up. The Octobrush with sufficient damage up gear could kill in two hits, which pretty much made the Inkbrush obsolete, as the Octobrush had longer ranges and now could spot faster than its Inkbrush variant. Any of the high fire rate or high damage automatic weapons flourished, and to this day the Spotter Shot Pro is still a broken weapon in Splatoon 2. But in a way, as broken as I've explained Splatoon to you, this is what made the game fun. Games were intense and required high tier play because you could get splatted extremely quickly, and the unfairness of the game helped level the playing field between the low and high ranked players. With all this said and done, the question can finally be asked, when will we get a Splatoon remastered? There is always the possibility that we don't. But if we were to get a remastered version, my bet would be after a third, maybe fourth installment of Splatoon, where the game could have an expanded campaign, better visuals, and maybe a little bit of nerfing. It would be too soon to remaster the game after only one sequel. That would be like remastering Mario Kart 7 right after you made Mario Kart 8. The game is just too fresh in the consumer's mind to reminisce and take another crack at. While I would say Splatoon 2 would probably never get a remaster because it's perfect in so many ways, the possibility for the original Splatoon to be remastered, maybe on a next generation Nintendo console, is there. It would have a substantial resolution upgrade, not only that, but the textures would look way better as well. The game could finally thrive on a popular and large platform compared to its days on the Wii U because, let's face it, the console did not sell that well. Splatoon would finally have the chance to show people the great game that it was with its innovative and creative concept it brought to the multiplayer team-based gameplay. And I would be able to relive the fun memories I made during the early times of my channel. Thank you all for watching today's video. As always, if you liked the discussion and you want to see more videos like these, click the head in the cold ramen and I'll see you guys in the next one.